Okay, here we are out in uh, our woodlot uh, Bucket Mountain in Bucksport. We're spraying for the white pine weevil, and the timing of that's a long story, but we I think we've got it nailed. We're into about our 25th tree, and I was, I've been looking for the actual weevil because timing is everything with this. We've been timing this to be 20 growing degree days, uh, base 50, and today, yesterday, we hit that benchmark very late. And I've been looking for weevils, and I saw one on the terminal of this tree. He was right up there. And you can see if you look closely here, we have what could be where the weevil has begun to attack. You can see little pitch droplets where they uh, they begin to lay their eggs, right? They, they bore in with their snout, and then they lay the eggs in there, and then the larvae uh, feed, killing the terminal. So the idea is to get the insecticide coverage, I'll demonstrate a spray here, just by wetting down the terminal, just all it takes. Uh, I'm actually, I've never done this before, and it says to get good coverage, so I have to find on these big leaders, you want to sort of just do a quick pass, uh, the top one, and sometimes I'll even attack down here, so you want to get probably two years of height growth. So these pines are just growing fabulously and I don't want to lose them. Like we've got some attacks more on our other properties where we're going later. So um, that's very reassuring because I didn't know about the timing. So if there are the weevils are still out there crawling around and just beginning to lay their eggs, we've got the timing just right. Okay, we about 10 trees later here, we've actually found another weevil. You can see she's right there about two inches below the terminal bud that's breaking. Um, you can also see the pitch droplets. I count three or four of them where apparently she's tried or maybe successfully laid eggs. Let's hope not because we're going to take her out here in about five seconds as soon as this video is done. So this is, this is just classic. This is a textbook shot of what we're dealing with. And this, this tree, have we not been out here, would definitely have lost its terminal this year. Okay, here's another example. Here's a tree, interestingly, that we did a corrective pruning on a couple of months ago. The leader, notice, is almost already straightened up, and there's another weevil uh, crawling around away from the camera here on the back of this one, and it's got these characteristic little pitch blobs in here. So, again, that weevil is out of the picture. Okay, now we're over at Pinkham Book Tree Farm in Bucksport. We're in this stand that was likely an old field. Came into white spruce and really a lot of balsam fir. So it ended up open after our harvest. And we did some enrichment planting of white pine seedlings from the New Hampshire State Nursery. They've been in for a few years. They're up over breast height and we're beginning to get some weevling. We did corrective pruning about six weeks ago. They're already starting to straighten up from that. And now that we're at about 25 growing degree days, the white pine weevil has emerged and is uh, marching up to the leader and uh, would kill it if we didn't treat. And we're definitely seeing them out and about. So I think we've got pretty good timing. Bob got this new solo backpack sprayer dedicated for this and uh, it's got some advanced features that he's really happy with over the basic solo backpack sprayer. Pretty convenient. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Alright, we've discovered a mass uh, orgy of weevils out here in Moraville woodlot. There's at least six on the leader of this tree. It appears that a couple of them are mating. I'm not sure what that looks like for these pisodic strobi, but others are just crawling around at random. But it looks, hopefully, they've not yet attacked. Oh, I see lots of pitch droplets. So these weevils will be dead in about five minutes. So way more than we saw on the other property. But you can see that's the classic weevil substrate or habitat right there. Great big leader, almost as thick as my middle finger. This one would also be a goner. It hasn't been a separate attack yet, but it would have. 